So do you do who's put it us? Where? Where do you do it? When do you do it? Do you do it when you're sad, when you're happy, when you're angry, when you're mad, when you want something, when you have something? I just learned something really interesting. It's right before Shabbos and I always come to this beautiful park in my town right before Shabbos for a few minutes to sit and do some prayer and meditation. And um, I was on my way here and I haven't been here in the past few weeks. I've just been busy in quotes. I'll just say maybe lazy or complacent. And I figured on the way over here, I'm going to stop at the grocery, pick up one or two things, and then I'll come here. And I go to the grocery, pick up a couple of things, and I get here very, in a very contemplative space, feeling like I want to connect, and I want to sit in and spot this for a few minutes before Shabbos. And I was hungry, so I went into the trunk, took out some of the food I bought for Shabbos for my children, some chicken nuggets and a Diet Coke, and I had a couple couple of drinks of soda and I'm sitting there and suddenly I feel so satisfied so calm so happy so content and I'm like ah, I'll just go home um, and what what happened was I think this made me realize that I wanted to come here when I was in a negative space when I was thinking that I need something I need to pray about something I need to connect because I was feeling guilty because I haven't in a while um, and it was from a negative place and also out of a sense of duty to myself that I want to do this before Shabbos and I haven't done it in a while. And then once I got here and I satisfied my hunger and I felt physically satisfied, I felt no need to connect, to pray. I was like, you know what, God, I'm actually good. I'm just going to go home. And it hit me that I always wondered, you know, why, do, why does God send us challenges? And the answer that I'm always given is to get you closer to God so that you'll pray and, you're, and you'll connect. And I see so clearly today, you know, pre-chicken nuggets and Diet Coke, I was like, oh God, like I want to connect. I want to pray. It's before Shabbos. Have a few moments. Post-chicken nuggets and Diet Coke, I'm so satisfied, feeling so good. Serotonin is in my brain. And I'm like, yeah, I'm actually good. I have nothing to say. So I realized that the discipline of having a certain time that you, you designate for Hespotidus every day, there's a reason for it. And I think that reason is because that way, no matter what's going on in your life, if things are good, if things are not good, if you have something to pray about, if you don't, um, it's like Rev. Dror always tells me, it's a conversation with God. So, and it's so important to set aside the time, make a specific time so that no matter what's going on, you have that time together to connect and it's like you know if you have a friend and you want to just you want to just make sure you keep the connection you set a time to meet to go out to lunch with a partner you know maybe people have set aside date nights or specific times and things that they do together and i guess it's the same thing with his photo does i guess it's i see the importance of having that set time because it, then it doesn't depend if i'm happy or sad or what's going on or have something to ask for or anything um so i i'm just had such an awareness about that for myself and it's like it needs to be for me like clockwork every day at this time this is my time to connect and say like hey you know this is what's happening in my life have that conversation um, have that gratitude have a time for reflection a time for self-reflection on things I've done wrong and want to do better self-reflection on things I feel I I want in my life that I'm not bringing in and to to try and ask you know what's what is it that God wants for me to bring those things in so there's really a lot of things to to talk about so I'm realizing that the importance of that set time for connection and I haven't been doing it the past couple of days I haven't taken the time the past couple of Fridays and I really got that lesson today and I think the most important part of it is um, I really don't want to wait until I'm in that negative place of like oh my god like I'm feeling so bad about something I need to go down to the to the water and do some as photo does connect ask God for something be in pain and then feel better I think that um, I don't want to wait for that and I think that way maybe maybe there'll be a little bit more balance where I'm not waiting for negativity to be the connecting factor 
with God or ha having his photo dust. It's not negative things, pain, fear, lack, connect to God. It's going to be daily connect to God. So that was my, my long winded insight for today. And I just wanted to share that. And I want to be very grateful for Rev Drawer and the Amuna Center because I'm in a class every single Sunday night, like clockwork at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I log on, there's a class going on. It's live with a bunch of wonderful, amazing students from around the world and Rev Drawer from Israel is teaching a class, answering our questions, and it's clockwork every single Sunday. There's a time for learning, there's a time for conversation, and hearing new thoughts and new ideas, and being reminded of the things we need to be doing and we want to be doing. Um, so I'm so grateful for that, really grateful for that, and I see now how valuable it is that Rav Jor sets this time aside for a class for us to do this. So anyone watching that's not in the class, I invite you to join the class, join the Sunday night class, because then you have that steady Sunday night, 5.30, or whenever else there are classes. You have a steady time where you're learning, where you're asking Rev Drawer questions, where you get your questions answered. Um, you take some time for reflection on everybody else's questions. It's a very powerful thing to have a set time. So set time for his this every day. Set time for his this every Friday before Shabbos set time for learning, set time to join the Emuna class. It's emuna.com, Rav Drawer, find him anywhere and, um, and really come join the class and start setting aside this time if you don't already have it. So that's it for today. Have a wonderful Shabbos. If you're seeing this before Shabbos, if not, just that's it for today.